The head of the Palestinian Authority, Mahmoud Abbas, addressed the United Nations General Assembly on Thursday and leaders of UN countries discussed the escalating violence in Lebanon. Voice of America correspondent Chris Casqueo is live at UN headquarters in New York City with more on these questions. Good afternoon or good evening there. Good and evening, Chris. Good morning from Jakarta. Chris, thank you for joining us. Chris, what were the main points of Abbas' address to the General Assembly? This was the first time Abbas spoke to the UN General Assembly since the October 7, 2023 attacks by Hamas on Israel. But he called on the U.S. to stop sending arms to Israel. He also said that his government should govern post-war Gaza as part of an independent Palestinian state, a vision that Israel's hardline government rejects. Abbas has had little influence in Gaza since Hamas overthrew his forces and seized power of the territory in 2007. But the U.S. has said that a reformed Palestinian Authority should play a future role in Gaza, but Israel does not consider Abbas a reliable partner and has ruled that out. Back to you, Stephanie and Ferdy. Okay, Chris. And how are United Nations members addressing the escalating situation in Lebanon? Uh, the U.S., Australia, France, the European Union, Saudi Arabia, and United Arab Emirates on Wednesday urged an immediate 21-day ceasefire across the Israel-Lebanon border, but Israel rejected the idea of a ceasefire with Hezbollah. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu told reporters that Israel would continue striking Hezbollah with, quote, full force until Israelis in the northern part of the country can return to their home. Hezbollah, for its part, has not responded to calls for a ceasefire. U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin warned of the risk of an all-out war in the Middle East, but says the U.S. remains hopeful that a diplomatic resolution can be reached. All right, Chris, Foreign Minister Retno Marsudi is leading Indonesia's delegations at the General Assembly. Chris, can you tell us about her agenda there, please? Yes, this is uh, Indonesian Foreign Minister Retno Marsudi's tenth and final appearance at the UN General Assembly. Uh, earlier this week, she attended the G20 foreign ministers meeting held on the side of, of the UNGA, and she voiced her concerns about the breakdown in global order and the international system's inability to respond to new challenges. She cited what hap what's happening in Ukraine and Gaza, saying, we must not let what happened in Ukraine, in Gaza, and in the West Bank and in Lebanon become a new international norm. Marsudi has also been appointed as a, the first UN Special Envoy on Water. She is calling for international cooperation to deal with rising sea levels caused by climate change. She will start her envoy position in November after leaving her foreign minister post, and she will address the UN General Assembly for the final time on Saturday. Back to you. Thank you, Chris. And anything there more to add? If we're not, we can continue to our starting point. Sure, yes. So thank you very much, Chris Casquillo, for your report. Chris Casquillo from Voice of America. Good to be with you.